What I'm going to cook you today is once again going to feature zucchinis. But this time it's not just the zucchini I'm going to be cooking, it's also the flowers. Now when it comes to cooking zucchini flowers, the flowers are obviously edible, you have to be very careful because when you look at a zucchini plant there are two types of flowers on the plant, male and females. The females you can very easily recognize because they sit on the end of a very small zucchini. The males just sit on the end of a stem. So when you go out picking your zucchini flowers, make sure you pick only the male ones because if you start picking the female ones, you won't get too many zucchinis. But let's get started. And this is what an actual zucchini flower looks like after you've picked it. It's quite a fragile little flower and what we're going to do with it is we're going to batter it and fry it. Now the batter I'm going to make is a very basic pancake batter. That's all it boils down to. So what we use is flour, 100 grams of flour, one of these, an egg and roughly a quarter of a liter of milk. So, chuck in the flour. Start mixing it all up. Now you may look at these three flowers and think, three measly flowers, what are you going to do with three measly flowers? And you're right, you'd normally get a big bunch of them, but I've only got a couple of courgette plants out there and there are not that many flowers on it. So I'm going to just add something to this and why not add their offspring as well. So we'll be doing courgettes as well as the flowers. Actually what I will do is I'll simply take the courgette and use a peeler to create very thin strips of courgette. It's very simple. With regard to the flowers, we just need to make sure that the actual inside part of the flower, these bits, are not in them anymore because they wouldn't be too nice. And all you need to fry these fritters is a basic oil. Sunflower oil will do or if you prefer it you can use olive oil. Now all I did with these flowers is I give them a little wash, I pat them dry and I sprinkled a little bit of salt over them, just a tad. So then all we need to do is we dunk it into the batter, like this, and just put them in the hot pan. There you go. And 
and you can do the exact same thing with your strips of, of courgette. Once they're brown enough on one side, turn them over. As you can see, nice color. Turn them over and cook them on the other side. And that's what a crochet flour fritter looks like when it's done. Bon appetit. And the crochet fritters themselves aren't half bad either. Nom 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 nom.